from Levani onwards, registering the users as the target users does not comes under uh, repository assistance. So in earlier version, actually this was handled by repository assistant itself. But now this can be done in a design center itself. So here uh, we have the uh, design center. Okay. So under that we have the locations. Under that we have the global navigation. Under that we have security. Under that we have different uh, users, right? And also we have uh, uh, roles, different roles. WS owner we have registered as a, a workspace owner. So it has all the roles by default right so similarly now let us now let us uh, uh, define the Scott user also as OWB user so next select user from the available list of DB users or create a new DB user by clicking on the create db user button so that means these are all the available users in the database if you want to use any of the user you can use them or if you want to create a new user then you can use this create db user button so here you can give a brand new uh, db user that will create so for the time being we are trying with the Scott right so let us uh, take a Scott user okay <coughs> I'm giving a next to create a location yes please check the boxes in the following to check whether the location will be created based on the users credentials okay location will be created finish So we are registering Scott user as a target user. So registering as a location that is not required because already we have done that, right? Already we have created the location. Uh, we might have unchecked the option, but uh, no problem. It's already there, right? So now let us see whether the deployment can work or not go to the control control center again again try to uh, deploy action because it was not created it, it failed with some error right so i'm again trying so i'm deploy action will be create only then i'm going to deploy option again it is generating the code And now it is running. That means uh, code is ready. So every time when you are uh, deploying, when you are trying to deploy, it will try to it will uh, try to generate it first, and then it will uh, then it will uh, deploy the code into the target schema. Okay. So again it try to deploy, but again it failed with some errors, right? See what are the completed with warnings. Let us see what are the warnings. table or view does not exist which table does not exist <coughs> table or view does not exist it is saying that line number 143 so go to the script okay double click here and view code is this somewhere uh, in this code okay let us copy this code into some file okay i have opened sql developer i am putting it here and i am putting the numbers here 
it is saying that 173 right so, uh, close this one it is there in 143 go to on line number one for okay we have the spec also we can close the spec here remove the spec remove the spec go to line number 143 see In 143, what do we have? 143, we have function main. So the error is coming to the function main. From where it is coming? It is coming from 1692. Sixteen, eighteen, nine is also there. So this is the place where it is producing this error. Okay, we are not able to identify the exact uh, problem, but what we can do is let us go to the package and search with map right see and go to the package body and mm, compare now try to compile the package and we will see the exact errors so which statement is ignored see employees table 143 is employees right so employees table what we have done in the mapping if we go to the mapping employees table actually we have created in the OWB we did not create it in the database right so here in this particular package we are, we are trying to deploy the mapping first but it's a dependent objects the dependent objects here are emp and employees the object should be there in the scott schema right so emp is already there but employee the table we have created in the wb so what we have to do first we have to deploy it first we have to create it first right after that you can use it you can refer it in any of the packages or functions or procedures right so even if you are going to the sql developer and let us say if you are trying to trying to select from this table you will not get uh, any details and it will throw a same error see tabular view does not exist employees it is even the table name is wrong also it will give the same error still the table is not available in the database so i'm going to uh, create this table and i'm deploying so what it will do is it will first it will deploy the employee table see here it is a success table has been created that we can see we can go to the employees table we can try to query them see the table is there okay data is not there because we have created just now right so now go back to the control center now all the dependent objects for this package the dependent objects here as emp and employees both the objects are available in the database now we can deploy it okay so already the map, uh, particular uh, mapping 
it was already compiled but there were some warnings okay so the for the second time we have to replace it again i'm deploying generating the code running completed see now it got completed successfully success success so that means this particular package got deployed into the database and now the program is ready and it is in compiled state and you can use it for executing okay so let us before starting that let us uh, check how many records are there uh, in the emp table and also in employee table because we are trying to insert all the records right select star from emp 14 rows are there 14 records are there and in employee table employees tables no records because just now we have created this table now go back to the control center and e execute this uh, particular mapping okay you can execute means you can uh, run this particular uh, uh, mapping uh, by starting okay start this particular mapping see this is running So these are the audit details, employees log. So 14 records selected, 14 records inserted, updated zero, rows deleted, errors, start time, end time, elapsing time, all this information we got. And here you see all the, I mean everything is a success, there are no errors. So now go back to the database and see how many records are there. and our employees how many records we have see all the records are coming now all the 14 records employee id employee name salary and hire date all these details came so <coughs> this is how actually uh, OWB can work so here we have uh, defined one uh, simple mapping here right we have defined one uh, simple mapping here this is completely diagram here we are not using any programs any languages we are not using just a graphical interface a graphical interface to with uh, different connections just uh, this is a diagram and this diagram is converted into readable program and also it is executable program and we are able to see the records are inserted into the target tables so this is one simple mapping how OWB uh, can work so there are uh, in the mapping part actually there are uh, many things that uh, uh, we can see we have to see actually there are uh, n number of uh, different operators but uh, we can uh, we can go through how these operators are uh, uh, being used one by one we can check uh, that depends on usage and your business requirement so this is my for uh, demo purpose actually we are using one simple case but in real time projects uh, most of the cases will not be like this most of the cases we have to use a lot of operators, a lot of filters, joins, all those things we have to use to uh, to complete a particular ETL operation. So this here it is a very uh, simple one. So there is uh, no issue with that. So also before that, we will do one thing. We will uh, uh, create one workspace user we have created a WS owner workspace owner so for that we will create one uh, under that we will create one user 
so that we can later we can try to use that user uh, to perform certain activities so i am going to the same uh, repository assistant again service name is orcl manage warehouse builder workspace users so here i'm giving ws one hour this is the workspace information register warehouse builder workspace users so right now there are no users right so we have option we can use the same existing users or we can create a new user let us uh, uh, try to create a, a new user so what are the user details we have earlier wb users uh, we have uh, we have ws owner and the space name is wb ws so let us create under this one uh let us uh, create one more user yes uh, user 1 okay so i'm creating a new user So the all the details. Give the username, password. Retype the password. DBA username. DBA username means you have to give a sys or system or a sysman which has a DBA roles. The user should have DBA roles because this will this will internally it will create the uh, user called WS user one. Okay. So <coughs> so we have to give the sys or system password also so ws user 1 selected next so these are the details we have uh, this is the database details action create oracle warehouse builder workspace user this is the workspace user we are going to create owner is ws owner and our workspace name is wb wbws finish this will uh, uh, create the user security user registration allow access no problem it is trying to use java 